Do I look good? <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Auto Heads. I'm really excited for this video install today. It's gonna to be a Raptor grill, my 2016 F-150, and it's going to be step-by-step -step instructions. I looked all over YouTube and I was not able to find a single video that went from point A all the way to point Z. Um, there's always something that they skip, either the wiring or just forgetting huge portions of how to uh, do this install. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully you find it helpful. As always, please subscribe to Auto Heads. If you like the video, hit the like button and then click that little bell to get more notifications on when new videos come out. So let's get to it. All right, so these are the tools I recommend having for this install. Definitely a power drill is gonna make things easier with a socket adapter and something to give you an extension because there's a couple, um, there's a couple bolts that are really tough to get to. If you don't have a power drill, a uh, socket wrench will also work. Um, then you're also going to need a 10, an eight, and a 16 millimeter socket. Um, it would make things a lot easier also if you had all of these in deep sockets. And then um, some kind of a wire stripper tool these two, in my opinion, are must-haves. It's gonna make the whole job way easier. I'm gonna put the link to uh, both of these in the description of the video. This is just like a pin, like an automotive pin remover. Um, there's a bunch of pins. The majority of this install is removing pins, if I'm, be if I'm being honest. Um, so definitely get something like this. And then this also makes the wiring a no-brainer and um, it makes it so you can't mess it up. This um, is, it's made by Kujekt, but it's just a, uh, a wire tap assortment kit. And uh, we'll get to more detail later on about these. All right, so first things first, we have to remove all of these little push pins. Um, for the video, I marked all of these with a little silver metallic Sharpie and uh, that's gonna help you guys see which ones to remove. It took probably five or six videos for me to figure this out step by step. There is not, I mean, I haven't seen one YouTube video on YouTube that actually takes you through step by step, doesn't skip any parts, and includes the wiring. Um, you know, there's a few that you could watch where you could put it all together, but my goal for this video is to have everything step by step so you guys can do this and it only takes one video for uh if you guys to learn how to do it so here it goes all right so this is going to be the bulk of what you guys will be doing for this install um, these push pins there's a ton of them so i'm going to go over how to do it real quick and that's why getting this tool is really important use the description and the link uh, don't be cheap just buy it it's going to make the install go way smoother and it will allow you to not be breaking these with an improper tool because they're actually expensive to get from Ford and I think that's like the only place you can really get them where it's going to fit properly. Um, you don't want to have, you know, you don't want to have your grill with only half the push pins and it rattling around and everything else. So just get the tool and it'll, it'll make the install that much easier. Alright, so how you use this tool is there's a little opening on these. You're going to get your tool in here kind of go back and forth a little bit pull it up and then once you're you know about a quarter of an inch high you can go under the whole clip and the whole thing just comes out nice and easy and that's gonna save you guys a bunch of money and headaches otherwise you're gonna be messing with the stupid flathead screwdriver breaking these left and right so if you use a tool like this I'm telling you you won't regret it
right, so that was really easy and smooth. Um, the only the only ones you couldn't see me take out in the beginning here were these two. Um, and then I left this one in. Um, and it's kind of a different design. It doesn't have the clip. So just kind of pull it gently, work its way out. And then I would suggest maybe keeping it in this little, uh, this little fabric. But that's it. It was really easy using that tool. So no problems there. And now we got to remove this shroud piece. All right, so I removed the shroud or the plastic piece, whatever you want to call it. And when you remove it, it gives you access to another push pin right here. It's uh, identical to the one over here, but for whatever reason, the shroud is not covering this. So go ahead, use your tool, take this one out. And then we have a total of four 10 millimeter bolts right here. One, two, three, four. So we'll remove those and then we'll get to the next step. Now this is when you're gonna use your 10 millimeter socket. Okay, so to get access to the last two bolts, you have to kind of pull at this, and this is kind of the scary part, but just take your time, um, give it nice even pressure, and start from the top, and then you'll work your way down, and the pins will start to come loose. So once we're able to kind of unloosen or unhinge this piece, this kind of headlight piece back, it reveals the last two pins holding this whole grill together. We already got that one. So we were able to get access to this one. And that one right there, okay? I'm not gonna be able to film me removing this one um, but it's the same story, all right? Just use this tool, slowly pry it out, and then uh, it's the same thing on the other side. We got the one right here. I already removed this one. And then way down here, we got that last one. All right, so this is where you're gonna switch out your 10 millimeter for an eight millimeter. These are the only two that you're gonna need that uh, eight millimeter for, this one and that one. So we'll remove this. Again, just kind of be gentle, push this back real gently, and then get rid of this boy. All right. All right, same thing on this side, eight millimeter. Good to go. All right, now you're gonna unplug these two here. Little push tabs, push and lift, push and lift. All right, there's also another little, looks like a zip tie, and some of these videos have you cut these off. There's no reason to do that. Um, it's actually a zip tie and a push pin underneath, so same thing. Get your tool, carefully work it out and it pops right out. All right, so we've removed those two remaining pins, total of three on this side, and three on this side. Now we should be able to lift up the grill and pull it back. You have to lift it up, it doesn't just come straight back. All right, so let's give it a try. All right, there we go. Easy peasy, grill is out. All right, so on the top of the the, uh, the grill here, I marked again with the silver marker here. These are gonna be just the push tabs that you can use with the, with the um, push pin remover. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four of those. 
And then moving on to the side, that's gonna be a 10 millimeter. These are kind of weird. Um, these are also gonna be 10 millimeter and that's gonna be your, uh, your deep socket. These just kind of screw up against the plastic piece. There's one, two, three of those. Another 10 millimeter right here. And the tricky one that everyone misses is this one right here. That's gonna be, you're gonna need an extension, that's an eight millimeter. And then once you remove all of those, this whole grill should come right off. I should note that these ones, you actually don't need to remove the whole thing. Just bring it up, uh, you know, just a little further than I got it now. And this just kind of floats around and then the whole thing should come up. All right, now for our little hidden eight millimeter in the corner there. This is where you're gonna need your extension for sure. All right, so I missed these two here also. There's one right here. And then there's one right here these are both uh 10 millimeters all right now we're going to remove these four pins on the top back to the pry tool just kind of sneak under here a little pressure Lift up. The whole thing, you can see how that works, obviously. It just keeps it fastened. And then you get four of those. Alright, so now we've removed all of our bolts and screws. Now we can just lift this whole thing up. And this is what we're keeping. The Graptor grill, just using the exact same components, should be able to fit right in here nice and easy. All right, so here is the stock grill right here. And here's kind of like the housing. Now, this is kind of a tricky part, and a lot of people have a real, real uh, tough time with this. In order to get the new grill, the Raptor grill on, you have to typically remove this bolt right here that has a real pain in the ass washer right here that ends up usually stripping this. Um, and how you have to remove it is by taking usually a pair of vice, uh, vice grips or just some pliers and holding this down. while you use your 10 millimeter to remove it. Um, so that's what I'm gonna have to do, but SunPi, the company that makes this, was smart enough and uh, cared about their customers enough to include some real heavy duty replacement washers and, uh, and bolts. So that allows me to just not care about this bolt at all, remove it as harshly as I want, um, and then just replace it with this heavy duty washer and bolt. And that's gonna fix right onto this. All right, so I've kind of already kind of worked this a little bit, but use some clamps, probably some vice grips would work even better. Get your 10 millimeter. And this whole thing should come off. That's what the back end's gonna look like. So if you don't have a sun pie, that's what you'd have to do. You'd have to refasten it. Um, to the existing hardware, but SunPi, like I said, it provides its own hardware, so I can just uh, toss this. All right, so all four of those pain in the ass bolts 
are removed. Like I said before, one right here, one right there, one right here, and one right there. And these will be replacing those. All right, so now I think we should be able to get this bolted on. Drop it in nice and easy. I'm gonna take these little wires here. Just make sure you guys can see. These little wires, there's three of them. One in the middle there, one here. Just make sure they're clear. So now we're going to put that hardware that SunPi gave us. If I can find it, here it is. I just kind of hand tightened those. Um, what you're gonna need next is a 9 16 socket to tighten down the bolts that SunPi gave you. I can't emphasize enough how um, thankful I am that <laughs> these came with uh, hardware because it's just so much easier. It was uh, a big relief. Now we're just gonna flip this, just like so. Just wanna make sure you guys can see that. Um, now we're where the those push pins are. I already put these three in. Um, I haven't tapped them yet, but these push pins, just put them right on in here. Push down. set all right let's flip this around now this next step I think is personal preference you could put these um, back in here the way I'm looking at it, I don't think it makes too much of a difference. This is really, really snug. These aren't going anywhere. And um, I'm not gonna bother. I feel very comfortable that this is locked down. Um, so I'm just going to not do that. And I'm gonna put this last 10 millimeter, the sneaky one that we were talking about, um, back in. That's this and we'll be good to go as far as um, remounting the grill all right so the raptor grill is attached and fixed to the mounting plate and now it's just a matter of doing the opposite of what we did to remove the grill so we're going to start getting this put back together
All right, so now you're gonna find your wiring harness that should come with your Raptor grill kit. I'm just gonna plug these three into these three connectors. Um, as I'm going through, I'm seeing the quality of this, uh, this brand. It's definitely really nice. There's that nice rubberized washer here. Um, that's gonna keep all the water out, so that's what you wanna see. Just plug these in, fit in nice and snug. So this is the portion of the video where I have not seen one YouTube video that explains this. For some reason, everybody just skips right over the wiring portion, which to me is probably the most complicated part of this whole install. So I'm gonna really go slow and break this down for you guys. Um, if you come over here, the kit that I told you guys to get, which is gonna make the whole install a lot easier. This, these little pieces right here, you're just gonna take this wire and slide it in, and then you're gonna crimp. And that's gonna give you your connection. So we'll go through that right now. All right, so these come pre-cut, which is nice. So you're just gonna pull these taps off here, and get rid of those, and you're gonna use this connection. And uh, you can give the wire a little twist. Then you're gonna slide it through this hole. And then once you're in, these are 2218, just like it shows on this little wire cutter here. And you're just gonna give it a little crimp. That should do. Same thing on the other side. twist here push through crimp all right, and then you're good to go all right now you're gonna get your two other wire connectors here and this is what's gonna actually bite into the existing wire so this is the this is the um, parking light wire here. So take some needle nose pliers, kind of pull this tape back a little bit, and that's gonna give you some extra room to work with. And then you're gonna take these, you can kind of see right here, that's where you want that wire to go. Once you put the wire in, you're gonna close it, and then you're gonna take your needle nose pliers and just crimp it down. And you're gonna hear a click. All right, so now a little tip is, this is where the connection is gonna go down into. So when you close these, try to put it in a way where you can plug it in easy. So I'm gonna have this facing up because that's gonna be easiest for me to uh, plug into. So I'm gonna take this, put it right here. Try to get in the middle here. Close it down. It's gonna be kind of hard to see, but. All right, that should be good on that side. All right, same thing on the other side. Get that connector over. Find the middle. It's pretty tight in here, so bear with me. All right. Squeeze. All right, so we made these two clips. We connected them to the existing running lights here. And now we're going to 
use our connections and just plug them in. So make sure the red is going to your green and red wire and the black wire is going to your black and yellow. At least that's how it's set up in my truck. They might be different depending on the years, but typically black goes with black, red goes with red. Give it a good push. Try to, try to push this all the way down um, to the base of this connection, connection here. All right. All right, moment of truth. Take out your key fob, hit the unlock button, and hopefully this lights up. Woo, baby! We're in business. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Rafter Grill install. I tried to go as step-by-step -step and detailed as possible so there was no guessing games. I made this video, one, because I wanted the Raptor Grill, but two, it took like four or five videos for me to actually put all this together and piece it together. And even then, there was some parts that were just missing that I had to figure out for myself. So this should be a one-stop shop. If you guys want a Raptor Grill, just watch this video, start to finish, and this should cover all your bases. So I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and uh, ring that little bell on my channel so you can get new updates on when videos come out.